wrestling fans, thanks for clicking the Toretta D. Rose report. Got a lot of news, got to get flying, no humor today. Eh, not much. USA Network's uh, Ted Leinhart said on his Twitter account that early returns from last night's WWE Tough Enough ratings looked pretty good. He said he wrote, uh, Tough Enough premiered huge openings, almost 2 million uh, within the demographics of 18 to 49 and over 3.3 million total viewers and uh, 1.1 million 18 to 34 demographics. Uh, he says thanks. And I think what they're talking about, they have, don't have the ratings point out yet, but the 3 million, uh, 3.6 million, I think there's awful close, not quite a million per uh, rating, rating point. So it'd be 2 point, maybe 2.7 rating. A lot of people must have stayed over from uh, Raw to Tough Enough. All right, final ratings will be out later. I'll let you know. Edge versus Alberto De Rio feud that uh, looks like it's going to be continuing for quite some time. And was uh, Sin Cara pretty impressive? Looks like be, he might be really fun to watch. Rock reportedly filmed segments for future WWE DVDs this weekend in Atlanta. Uh, Associated Press published an article today uh, indicating that uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, he declined an offer to appear on ABC's Dancing with the Stars, and I say, good going. The Hall of Famer said Monday that he wasn't interested because he has two left feet and so-so on rhythm. Austin says he enjoys the program and is a supporter of uh, uh, Jericho. Says Jericho uh, never gets nervous, and uh, that's what he's got going so far. No, oh, article acknowledges his involvement in uh, WWE Tough Enough, and uh, Austin said he appreciates the show because it's an avenue that was not available to him when he started out in the wrestling industry. WWE followed up their claim that they set at the Georgia Dome's uh, attendance record at 71,617, and is confirmed by friends at the Georgia Dome of that amount. Uh, and, but the previous record holder was the Backstreet Boys hosted 65,658 fans February 19, 2000. The number was quoted by Billboard Magazine 2009 article was for a two-day event in Atlanta, not a single performance. Former WWE Women's Champion Candace Michelle said on his twi or her Twitter that she's working for out an idea out for a new reality show involving herself and a bunch of her fave ex-divas. Speaking of Kansas, by the way, she and her fellow, uh, fellow former uh, diva, one of her diva friends, uh, Lillian Garcia, is, are hosting a Tough Enough after show immediately following the USA Network broadcast of uh, on up, uh, Upstream, Ustream TV. The theme for uh, Monday's episode of Dancing with the Stars was personal stories with dancers choosing a song that's important to them. Chris Jericho chose the Beatles, Let It Be. Here's a little story real quick on that. In a pre-taped se taped, uh, segment, Jericho recalled the story of his mother suffering uh, at car accident when he was training to become a wrestler, which uh, confined her to a wheelchair until she passed away in 2005. He prepared to give up the wrestling, but uh, she insisted he kill, uh, still continue uh, pursuing his dream. Jericho says his real name, by the way, is Chris Irvin. Uh, and that for the first time in his professional life, he will be performing as himself, not a character. Introduced as Chris Irvin, he danced the rumba with his partner, Shell Burke, to uh, receive a score of 21. I don't know whether that's good or bad. I guess it's better than a two. Uh, the judges felt he lacked technical skills, but accomplished, uh, complimented him on his emotional connection. Ah, it takes more than that. Uh, it looks as if The Rock, by the way, is going to be returning to WrestleMania in the ring against John Cena after tonight's Raw, which all you got to do is just wait, wait a year. That's all. The Rock accepted Cena's challenge for a match, but wants it to be at WrestleMania 28, 2012, Miami, Florida. Rock extended his hand to greet, uh, greet Sheena, uh, Cena and, you know, uh, shook on it <clears throat> before getting beat down by the core. Cena and The Rock ended up backing uh, and fighting the group off. Uh, WWE has confirmed that the match is going to be taking place at the end of tonight's. Uh, that was going to be taking place at the end of tonight's broadcast. This is the first time that WrestleMania event has been confirmed one year in advance. Obviously, things can change between now and then. Uh, that would stop the match from happening. 
like somebody could gain an extra 100 pounds, you know. Mark Henry, by the way, defeated Zack Ryder in a dark match before last night for All in Atlanta. Match is taped for Thursday's WWE Superstars on WGN, uh, which ends fairly soon. Morella takes on DiBiase. Kid takes on Tatsu, which I think they do maybe every... Tatsu wrestles on WGN all the time. I got a feeling there's going to be a lot of people getting released fairly soon. Probably start maybe in about a week or week and a half as soon as WGN goes off. You can see a lot of them go too. Joey Styles, he took a shot at Kurt Angle on uh, Twitter for claiming that uh, his account was hacked by writing, I'm watching Jack Swagger apply the ankle lock to the king and wonder if anyone's Twitter account will be hacked. CM Punk wrote earlier today, my Twitter account was hacked. Uh, is uh, hacked is the new it says I am I am a sloppy drunk douche. Guess somebody let's put that on there. Anyway, uh, Jim Ross noted on his Twitter he's going to be appearing at the show next weekend in Sand the Springs, Oklahoma, for the Hall of Famer Harley Race. By the way, I didn't get to this yesterday, but Kurt Angle was really upset by all of the ankle locks that was done on uh, WrestleMania. Uh, by Lawler, by Miz, by, no, it wasn't Miz, it was uh, uh, Swagger and uh, Cole, and seemed like John, did uh, Orton use one? I forget it. There was about three or four people who used the ankle lock. Anyway, Snooki told TMZ during a, an impromptu interview that her wrestling career is over. Whew, none too soon. She said that she's way too much got way too much going for her in life to focus on WWE so apparently her check was good and she's gone uh, anyway Snooki won her match at, at, by defeating Michelle McCool in a bunch of aerobic exercises as far as that went. alright on Raw the core uh, attacked uh, John Cena and the heels worked the match for many 27 opponents till they fought back and got the upper hand the Rock cleared the ring uh, Wade Barrett and Ezekiel out of the ring. Heath Slater was the unlucky uh, court member that got the brunt of the Cedars and Rock's uh, maneuvers. Uh, I'll be going down to that. If you've seen that, WrestleMania, you already know what I'm talking about. Before WrestleMania match 27 uh, match even happened this Sunday, sources reported that WWE officials were discussing a Triple H versus Undertaker rematch for WrestleMania 28 in Miami. Can you believe that? Booked a year ahead? Oh. And I got a feeling Taker was carried out of the ring on a, like a gurney or something like that. I think he did that. Uh, he, I never seen him get really hurt, but I think what that was was to give him some more time off. A good reason to be off. That's okay. Take some time off, Taker, if you need to. It's all right. We understand. Based on what went down on Raw last night, Triple H is saying that he would be waiting uh, when Taker returns. And it looks like they're indeed planning a big rematch. They usually do it the next day, but no. Regarding what happened on Raw last night uh, and the big uh, match of WrestleMania 27, The Rock and Cena wrote the following on the Twitters. Cena said, C Nation, I truly cannot believe what happened last night only uh, in the WWE, WrestleMania 28. Here we come. Team Bring It, Rock says on his Twitter, WrestleMania 28, Miami, the people's champ, the people's city, the people's WrestleMania, it's our time. I'm getting too excited. <sighs> got a year or two. Anyway, former WWE Maria Canales uh, will be hosting AfterBuzzTV.com, Dancing with the Stars post, uh, post show each week after, on their website. As noted before, Lillian Garcia and Candice are going to be hosting Tough Enough post shows. Alex Riley, Sheamus, Rock, Watts, Eric Watts, or yeah, Eric Watts, Daniel Bryant, uh, <laughs> Move Buckwheat. <laughs> that was funny. Was it? And more terms were uh, trending on uh, Twitter. Or was it, uh, yeah, Twitter. Jim Ross wrote the following on his Twitter after last night. He said, thanks for the great feedback, my uh, brief Raw return. I had fun coming down to the old school. Likely a one-time deal. I'm not an entertainer, you know. Uh, as seen on Raw, the, the Miz said, uh, had, really, he had suffered a concussion at uh, the end of um, uh, the show at WrestleMania. And when he head bounced off the floor, but uh, that's why I think why I didn't uh, wrestle or do anything on the Monday show. Hey, thanks for clicking you guys. I gotta go.